Rigatoni Studios. Yeah. Give me a Miguel like on location at Rigatoni Kitchens. No matter where I go, it seems I have to make fun cauliflower salad for everyone. <laughs> Whether it's St. Louis or Pennsylvania. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. And we've got brisket burgers. Go brisket ahead. burgers. Brisket, ground brisket, the best fucking burger ever. Yep. We got lips, lips and assholes. That's right. We've got lips and assholes. We've got nerd ropes galore. Fucking quite the nerd ropery. Quite the nerd. The nerd ropes Vinny has provided are definitely more uh, of gooder, I'm assuming, definitely thicker uh, than, than any nerd rope I've ever had in my life. That wasn't a nerd rope. I'm still talking about the candy bin. Okay. It really wasn't that thick. Uh huh. It wasn't that thick. <laughs> I mean, if we don't, I mean, if we're going back to that, no, that wasn't that thick. The nerd rope is definitely thicker. Excellent. So we are just plain cauliflower florets. These are these are florets. We don't use stems. No stems. No seeds. Seeds. No sticks. Wait, that's weed. Uh, we just want these in little bite size. Little bite size. That's how. That's all you gotta do. We do that with all this. We're gonna check, cube up some cheese. I cheated when I was by Andy's house. We I think I already bought a uh, cubed cheese. Uh, you cheating filth. But it was easier. It was easier. We were we were under the gun there. We got a little bit more time today, so we're gonna do this. No stems. No stems. No stems. Steve's have brought one of his cats with him. One of them. Yes. That one is bilingual as well. Again, get rid of these goddamn stalks. That's the, that's the poor man's cauliflower. And I don't know if you know it or not. We're not poor. No. No, the stalks go in the garbage with the collard greens. We, that's right. We, uh, we, uh, we make poor decisions and whatnot, but we're not poor. Exactly. Poor decisions, yes. Monetarily poor. So. Then we got our... Pre-cooked bacon, which it, it, it you'd, you'd re mother mother much rather have uh, real bacon, uh, but in a pinch I'll use that. Instead. I would I would cook you up some real bacon. Well, I would have uh, fried it up in a pan and. It's no big deal. Tonight just, I'll never uh, let you forget you're a man. Whatever you do, make sure you don't use fucking bacon bits because those things are disgusting. They're fucking not crispy. They're not crunchy. They're just something that you. Settle for in a salad or on a fucking baked potato. They're not found in nature. That's right. Do something with your life and use some at least real cooked bacon. It's already cooked, but we're going to throw it in the microwave, crisp it up, crumble it up, smash it up, chop it up. Rub it down. It, smack it up, flip it, right? get it to the, to the fucking consistency and the desired effect that we want. Not you, we want. That's right. And by the way, this, this cooking broadcast is brought to you by... Blue Line Farms, P H A R M S. That's right. For all of your uh, uh, CBD needs, if you use uh, promo code LTR20, you'll get 20% off your order. That's Blue Line Farms, P H A R M S dot com. How have you been doing with the CBD oil? I've been, uh, I actually ran out before I uh, uh, got here. I got my order on Wednesday, and I'd been out for a couple days, but I'd been smoking some of the uh, King's Kush. Uh, that they also offer there. It's actual flower. I don't think it's, a, it's actual flower, bud, but it's no uh, THC. It's, it's been uh, uh, dumbed down to just get the CBD out of it. So I was uh, biting by on that until I got my uh, oil in. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, I really paid for it. All that sitting on the, uh, in, in the airport yesterday and on the flight and the two and a half hour ride from the airport to uh, the lovely Hemlock Farms. Uh, there was a lot of sitting, uh, really really kicked in my, uh, what do you call it, uh, that was a shout out to Chad, but I said, what do you call it, um, <laughs> <clears throat> kicked in my nerve damage, so my buttocks, my, my right butt cheek had been uh, sore from sitting, that nothing that has went on since I've been here. No, no, um, no, that's why your, your anus is sore from... From when you got yeah, here, I mean, but that's, that's, I wouldn't say that's sober. I mean, you're, nothing, nothing in this house is big enough to hurt my anus. That is true. Um, so yeah, other than that, I love CBD. I'll, I'll never not take CBD. It, it's changed my life for the better. 
I'm not going to turn this into a uh, Blue Eyed Farms commercial, but uh, definitely try if you if you have any kind of ailment that uh, uh, that you're taking ibuprofen or aspirin for. Get off that shit. It's no good for your gut biome. Fucks you up. Uh, it actually doesn't help uh, with inflammation as good as CBD does. So. So Vinny was the big failure last night, didn't have time to make a sign, couldn't find flowers, 20 minutes, 20 late, minutes late, late picking you up. Yeah, you were pretty much a uh, fucking total flopser. Just useless as uh, tits on a boar hog. Pretty much, pretty much, until, until I said... Hey, Steve, you know, this beer isn't that cooler. That was the, and then that I was, made it like a little tiny, little mini rally. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, it was maybe a half hour into the ride, maybe 45 minutes that you would let me know. I'd seen the cooler. I just assumed you I, I assumed you knew because I thought that was one of your, re when I saw your requirement list come through for your oh, green it's a rider. Room, it's called a rider. Um, yeah, when I saw your rider come through, I knew... Um, I had a lighter, but you were already taking care of that. Yeah, they didn't take it from me at the airport, which is very weird. Like I could have burned the fucking plane down in the air. They didn't. They didn't care. Oh, you could have lit. You could have lit your shoe on fire. Exactly. And uh, I knew you said you said beer on ice. So we were ready for you. We were ready for you. But it's a good thing because there was a lot of uh, urination stops. I mean, it was a two and a half hour drive back from the fucking airport, and Dad and Chad was on a uh, some kind of weird. Uh, Guy, Guy Fieri fucking uh, diamond drive-ins and horrible gas station food. Yeah, Chad was on the quest for the worst gas station food. Um, I think we nailed it at the Indian gas station in Hazleton where he ate a uh, chicken sandwich that we estimate to be seven to eight days old. Right. And yeah. a turkey wrap that he had to crack. Wrap. He had to crack the wrap on to, to loosen it up. There was nothing soft about that wrap. You could have you you took that wrap to work with you this morning and hammered nails in. Oh, definitely. Definitely. But, the, the, but I'm assuming he's still alive. No, it seems like he's still alive. You know what it is? I think the yellow mayonnaise uh, helped loosen that up for him. How he didn't shit all over the seats of his car on the way home. I'm sure he stopped one more time on his ride home. I, just to have uh, some kind of sonic bowel movement. I told him to come in and, and drop, a, drop a fucking meatloaf in my toilet, but I guess maybe he was, maybe he was a little self-conscious about what would have happened. Very well could be. I mean, after that kind of uh, diet, there, there's no telling what would have came out of his anus. I mean, if you're in a house where Vinnie Rigatoni shits, you got to figure that septic system can take a fucking punch. This is true. This is true. I noticed he had flushable wipes in there too. That's that's key. That was in my rider as well. Yes. Um, I'm still. I still haven't found the uh, all yellow uh, peanut M and M's anywhere. So oh, we got to get on that. Still looking for those. Those aren't here. Uh, but yeah, this is our, our pre-show, because tonight's the big stupor show. So yes. From, uh, from the new shed. Yes, uh, there's going to be Rail, uh, Roy, uh, Steezo, uh, Vincent Rigatoni, the, um, double Z. the Double Z, Chad. Um, I'm sure Trin will pop in there. On, Trin will on probably the pop in, hopefully with some food. Um, uh, what's the gentleman's name from the pit? Uh, Lou. Lou. I, I need to reach out to Lou. I'm hoping Lou from the pit. Yet. I'm not sure if he's in town yet. I'll, I'll message him as soon as I'm done whipping up this delicious cauliflower salad. Oh my god, it's just, it's just, it's taking shape. Huh? You guys need help? Uh, we do, but you're not qualified to give it. We're doing a pre-show. Hello. Why am I not qualified? What's the uh, you, you, you're, you, you haven't been through any kind of psychological schooling. You're, you're not allowed I'm, to uh, I'm help us. You, so I think I'm qualified. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. But you need a degree to actually really help either one of us. You can't write prescriptions, so, you know. You can put on a bikini top and start helping. Okay, I mean, he's got a point. Drop them bottles. Oh, I mean, another cat. That was not mine. That is not my cat. All right. Remember, people, no goddamn cauliflower stems. It's all florets, all the good stuff. 
Yeah, catching a stem in uh, in uh, Stizo's cauliflower salad is like getting an eggshell in an omelet. That's it's right. totally unacceptable. Absolutely. And a professional like Stizo would never allow this. It's like using like some kind of knockoff sour cream instead of, you know, daisy. So, are you enjoying your stay in Pennsylvania so far, sir? I, I am. We uh, I, I, we got up and did some running around. We had uh, uh, a little local plug. Uh, how do you say the name? A reggaeton? Oregonados. Oregonados for breakfast. Um, it was very, very good. good. Very good. Had the three eggs over easy. Uh, hash browns, bacon, and toast. Really Look at the spot. So, shout out to those guys. If, you, if you're in this area. Uh, definitely stop and, and patronize them. He, it's veteran owned. Good restaurant. Steezo invited the waitress uh, to, to the bash. I did not, but the, by looking at her ass, it definitely would have. She hotty. She was hot. Uh, sure. Special guest star Dave, Thank waiting you. waiting for the waiting for the cauliflower salad to. To come to fruition. Uh, cauliflower rice or cauliflower pizza or I mean everything's cauliflower these days. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah, this, this is cauliflower pizza, salad. Mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. and cauliflower really is a, is a delightful and uh, healthy treat. I'll, I'll eat. It's a delicious break from potatoes. That's for Dr. Perry. Yoga and the doctor. Doctor. Provider. Okay. Cauliflower rice, and cauliflower mashed potatoes, but like cauliflower on its own, just not a fan. Yeah. No. It's like, it's like broccoli's pastor's brother. Yeah. More for me and Steezo. I mean, I'll try it. Broccoli, I, I broccoli, I'm not a big fan of it raw. No, not raw. It's got to be cooked. Yeah. Especially if it's like yeah, smothered in cauliflower grease or something. I mean, raw. Cooked. He's doing very well by himself. Where's your batteries? Hmm? Batteries. Oh yeah. By the way. Uh, Steezo was fiending for an apple pie last night. I offered to bake. I don't no, have sweets. I, I smell like someone had been baking apple right? pie all day. It does smell like apple pie. I made them by air fresheners. Now we cut the cheese. We cut the cheese. <laughs> 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 cut the cheese. <laughs> yeah. cut the cheese. Where's the belt? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's downstairs in the Rio Studio. It <laughs> is. <laughs> Hi, Steezo's cat. Mm. She says it looks like she wants to eat whatever you're making. Can't tell I've done a 650. Look at this technique. Times in my life, have you? Look at that stack. They're all equally sized, too. You know what? If these guys aren't stacking dimes, they're stacking cheese. That's right. right. Cheese. The OCD is right with this one. Oh, yeah. When you get to the end of the block, it gets a little fucked up because it's all squirrely. It doesn't want to cut the right outside. Over Shut up over there. No. So being from Kentucky, do you cut squirrels? I'm not. Oh, 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 I am not from Kentucky. Oh, no. I live oh, in Kentucky. Oh, oh, it's you like came here Dominican. from this is, this, is, this is the I, part I of the daytime programming where chairs start getting thrown. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd starts chanting, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry. Uh, anyway, go on. I, I'm not, I, I, I live in Kentucky. I'm not from Kentucky. Like, I don't sleep. Are you able to slice a squirrel into uh No, I don't eat squirrel. I don't. Uh, Gotta ask Rail about that. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's, that's Have you been to Rail? He's got dead things all over the place. Does he? He collects them and puts them in boxes and they rot and they stink. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about Love Rail. Love you, Rail. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't sure if he was going for a julienne or a slice or a dice. We're going for, we're going for chunks. Julienne. Chunks roughly the size of... Maybe a little smaller than your uh, your your four reds over here. Slice them and dice them, son. Maybe turn more lights on in there. We're yeah. not known for our production value. No, you're not. No, this is all content. This is all content based. 
So Caesar, did you it's sleep with one eye open as well? Did you sleep with one eye open last night? Yes. One eye open and asshole shut. Yeah. <laughs> I woke Jesse up. Belt. I woke up to go to the bathroom and half my furniture was stacked up against my bedroom door. Where did you put that queen size sleeping bag? Downstairs. He's gonna use that tonight. Is it up here or in the room? You're gonna sleep in the room, maybe. You think you don't? Do you know? You have to get a feel for it. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. At, well, at some point, you're usually. I'm not gonna night. give a fuck where I fall asleep. Up here. Because I want to plug. Up here. I wanted to plug it in and have it ready so that when you two idiots come back to find out, you can't well, maybe I'm sleeping in the yeah, room. Yeah, but if it's dumb and dumber, I, that's why I want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to. Let's make up some cheese. Let's make happy cheese. We're trying to decide. We're trying to decide where Steezo's going to sleep tonight. I think we should do a poll on pineapple juicers. Um, no, no. Absolutely there's not. two choices. The left side of my bed or the right side of my bed. I gotta raise my hand. Can you touch my fucking hand? No way. <laughs> you didn't say that. I tried to be nice and he had to like that. Pre-cooked bacon? Yes. Which is still better than bacon bacon. Well, see, I wasn't... I have to say, this, there was a communication breakdown, because I would have happily cooked bacon. Yeah, you keep it fat. Well, then you didn't listen on the show when I had said it's better to have regular cooked bacon. You do a show? In a pinch, already cooked, throw it in the microwave, crisp it up, chop it up. No, you can it's cook still, regular bacon in the still microwave, better, too. Yeah. Five minutes. You do a show? It, it's still better, yeah. It's still better than fucking those disgusting bacon bits. You, you know what bacon bits are? Leftover shit. The guy that fucking line. sweeps up the floor yeah. has the fucking bacon place. Uh, just sweeps it into a dustpan and puts it in a bag and seals it. That shit is disgusting. It's nasty. It's gross. Am I the only one that like will cook bacon and have like bacon, egg, and cheese? And you mm. take your bread and you dip it in the bacon grease before you? Is that a bad thing? Well, do you, no. No, when you cook your bacon, do you have a mason jar full of the bacon grease that you say? I do. I usually don't. Because that means you've never had good green beans in your life before. Hmm. Green beans, bacon grease on top of those some bitches. Mm, 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 mm. All right, Linda, can you run to the store and get bacon and green beans? <laughs> yeah, it's not we like gotta bacon. start saving not like bacon, bacon, bacon every time you cook bacon. Every time you cook bacon, get twenty pounds of bacon. I've done that here. Put your bacon but in we a don't mason need it jar. Enough. Store it in a cabinet. Some cook with it. I think I have some bacon grease in the nightstand. It's like when you do your eggs over medium or your fried eggs. Cook them in bacon grease. It's so much better. Probably not better for you. but No, no. It's it actually better. much better for you. I think That's how I do my eggs. But like, I'm making Look at me. Eggs and bacon. I'm a slim guy. Sexy as a mofo. I'm, I, there's nothing wrong with eating bacon. Bacon. Mm -hmm. When you're our size Did and you age and activity yeah. level, it might be bad to eat a lot of bacon. See, I have the best of both worlds. I have my, my, my two male lovers, cub and bear. <laughs> Whatever I'm in the mood for. Uh, and what the hell am I? My female Choose lover. Choose wisely. My, my female Choose lover. <laughs> You're the one that breaks in and steals the porridge. Mm. Mm. Oh, and no, just wait, like, it's your porridge. Just no, like it's you your cow. Wait. Just like you requested, I didn't show Steve's in the bedroom. You didn't want him to see the swing in the, in the pole, so... Did you take him down? No. He'll fit in the swing. Awkward! <laughs> okay, so I think we've got enough cheese in here, so... Okay. You can start eating it. Mm. It's the perfect yeah, amount yeah. of cheese, because it, you can't see the cauliflower now. Show me the cheese. I like it. It's definitely not equal parts. Um, Thank you. But it's... It's, it's, you gotta have cheese. You gotta have cheese. Don't take it from the salad. Take it from the. the, the yeah, here, that's yeah. plenty for the salad. Samples, three samples. <laughs> Where's the three like, samples? The toothpicks. Got a paper plate we can take the steak on? No, he didn't buy any. I forgot to get paper yeah. plates. Plates are in that. You are such a useless piece of fun. So I, I have to ask, was there was there a poster or a sign? You didn't get that far, did you? No, there was nothing. Because I, oh, fuck, no, we were talking I, I about this for days. I landed I know. 40 minutes before the fucker got there. I know, I'm, I'm fu I fucked up. So the first stop we made was twice. I ran in. 
No fucking you flowers. Didn't one. I wobbled in. No fucking flowers. They had potted plants. This morning we go to Weiss. Flowers are back. No ring pops. I was gonna bring flowers and ring pop to the to the to the airport and get on one knee. But instead, we pulled up to Stizo and I screamed out the window, will you marry me? And Stizo, who's not only deaf as a post, but had his fucking headphones on, did not hear it. But the guy who was waiting about 10 feet from Stizo looked very interested in the rest of our activities. I'm surprised there wasn't an extra passenger in the vehicle. I know. Yeah, I don't know how to work his microwave. Yeah, Stizo, you, you never heard me screaming out the window, will you marry me, when we pulled up. No, I was jamming a... Uh, <laughs> I believe I had Tupac. Uh, my ambition is also no the bread closet. Yes, because Leah likes to eat. Lo uh, Gia likes to eat loaves of bread. Gotcha. So how long do you think for all of it? Does it stay on the package? Uh, usually about. Uh, yes. Throw it in for a minute and a half, and let's see what that. Looks that like. micro is kind of on a low power end. You know, the difference between a thousand watt and eleven hundred watt microwave is actually significant. About hundred watts. It's about hundred watts. That too, and that's math. Which is interesting. Now, to soften my butter, I have to do 10 seconds instead of 9, which is almost 10%, which is the 10% difference in the wattage of the oh microwave. All oh, that math. This is the first time Miracle Whip has been in this house. What? What do you use, helmets? I don't have a lot of black dukes. I don't have a lot of black friends. I don't think I've ever had Miracle Whip. I have. My grandparents used to have it. Like we've always been like real, like almonds, mayo. See, so Miracle Whip is more of, a, I believe, a dressing. Miracle Whip actually has paprika in it, the little specks you can. Little red specks. Oh, paprika. specks. Specks. Yes. The paprika is uh, the mildest pepper. Did you know that? I think you told us that I once like before. That I do like a paprika. My mother, m mother used to make chicken paprika. Linda, stop looking for Stizo's bags. She's looking at my bag. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Yes, little does anybody know, Stizo's not wearing pants. No, I saw him behind this counter. Um, you got sugar? I do. Um, Why are you putting sugar in it? Well, because the fucking miracle looks a little bit tangy, and you gotta offset that with some sweet. Out of the way, Mutt. I'm very disappointed, Cesar. You're supposed to let that roll down your own, uh, your forearm off your own. No, no, I'm not that douchebag. You're not gay. So we'll say that's two tablespoons, something like that. Back to me. Brimley of the Yes, that bitch. We gotta do something to attract some bears. Yeah, throw a piece of bacon out there. Told you, we should go fishing, catch a fish. Got it. Babe, can you rub some honey on my nipples and I'll just go sit in the woods? Again? Again. Mm. Yeah, so Gotta do it on a Friday because Saturday's taken this week. Anybody gonna eat that cheese? Because I need a shopping bag for that bacon. I help. So save me. We're gonna throw this over the rail. <laughs> you're a fucking Dudley, you're a fucking knucklehead. Oh, you got that one. See ya. Gia. No, she quit the last one. Good. Gia. Let that one bounce off her nose. No, our guest, our guest used it. 
That's allowed. That's what it's there for. Mm -hmm. Stronger, heavier, more good or not. That's a fillet knife. You can just put them in the dishwasher to clean them, right? I'll get filleted again. Well, uh, Lindy, would you like to tell the fillet knife story? Again. You've never done it for posterity. Mike goes to my house accusing me of stealing his fillet knife because I'm Puerto Rican. My he beautiful, my, knife, right? my beautiful Henkel's fillet knife. Yeah, for months. And then I come here to his messy house one day to help him do these disgusting and dirty dishes and take him out of the dishwasher. And lo and behold, what's at the bottom of the dishwasher? Um, but a paint roller? A paint roller. <laughs> this. It's a weird place to have a... At the bottom. Oh, like underneath it, like down in the... On the bottom, yeah. In it, the it, basket it, it, part. Yeah. yeah, you can see the handle's melted. Yeah. It hit the yeah. element. So if you have uh, an ankles fillet knife... Accuse me. And you ruined it. I've ruined it. And this was the day after I almost died in his truck. Jesus Christ, you really remember this. First first day of many? Our first truck, right? I almost died and he's laughing. Ooh, ooh. That's how I, I handle stressful situations. Does that explain the, uh, this is the bear Home Depot the bear uh, story also? Handling stressful situations. What was screaming it? at people? Yeah, that's how I handle. That's how I handle COVID situations. Telling people to get the fuck out of the store. Sometimes, some drops out of the bowl. That's called quality control. Yes. Well, you got to taste, to make sure the sugar ratio is there. So, and there you go. So I'm usually not hungry after I cook. Cooking and it's just like, I have, oh, I have that issue too. When I, I fried basically two servings already, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's me when I fried chicken colors. You just gotta check and make sure they're done. Fucking A. Fucking B, it has more holes. Ah! Brian needs a spice of life. Dave said 10 words, he's already funnier than here, fishy fishy. That's it. Oh, was I supposed to bring my my fly rod? And, <laughs> yes. Here, fishy, fishy. Should I tie on a woolly bugger or a dry nymph? Oh, nymph I prefer nymphs myself. Okay, there's your cauliflower salad. I'm gonna drink beer. That's go, it. Go fuck your mother's mouth.